Look what I got today. Mm, not that. This from Banggood. This frame I've been waiting on for over a month now. And we are going to do a really nice build on this. And I'm going to break it down for you. The entire thing. So let's see what's inside. Alright. There it is. Cannot wait to put this together. Had another one of these GPRC frames. And this thing was a beast also. Really great frame until um, it went into my pool. So, but we're going to do a build on this one in a minute. So, let's see what's in the box. Is that out of the way? Got some uh, crazy horrible instructions 30 amp 5 inch 3s to 4s f3 board looks good got some stickers i really like this company <clears throat> not just for these or anything but just their frames are really good this frame was 65 dollars can always use these they come in handy um, strap, nice, very good, let's see if uh, the heck is all that, um, oh, two of them, so this one's pretty nice, I like that, I already have one of these, this is a nice strap, it's on my other quad, <coughs> I'll put those aside. PDB. Looks like your standard standard PDB here. Now you guys can get a good look on that. Yeah. Five twelve. ESC battery. I'm not positive I'm going to use this ESC or not because uh, <clears throat> I have an all in one. So I'm going to put this one aside. But it's still a nice PDB. It's uh, standard, but I don't really like the sides right there. But that's this one. Got a nice XT60 extra there. All right. Oh. That looks good. Take some plates there. Heavy duty plates here. Wow. So I'll bust all these out. So you can see them. These are all very nice. <clears throat> what I always like to do on all my builds anyway. Kind of dry fit everything before I put it together. Oh, that's really nice too. So, uh, we'll get all this opened and uh, we'll get ready to go. Okay, let's go over a part list of what we're going to be putting in that thing. Uh, let's go to the camera first. We're gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with that Fox here. Um, it's the Mini HS 1185. Uh, it's the one with OSD on it, also five volt. Um, I've never used this. Um, I've been using run cams, but uh, this Mini um, fits in this frame perfectly. So that's what we're gonna go with on that leave that out there uh, <clears throat> I think this was uh, on Amazon this is like nine bucks uh, it's a 600 I know I really wanted the switchable one uh, but I actually use this in a couple of, of my builds and uh, they work great uh, they don't run as hot as most they're digital 
which is a must now to have um, and they're cheap so uh, I tried to save a little money somewhere so I saved it here but <clears throat> usually I get the switchable ones because I like the option of being able to switch um, so I might switch it over later down the road but uh, we'll see we will see um, and since I'm running all my fly sky stuff because that's the only controller I have and uh, but this is a nice one this this uh, FS A8S uh, it's easy to run PPM on it's easy to hook up it's small it's lightweight um, I've never had any issues with it I've dropped two of these uh, with a quad in a pool and one in a lake fished them both out and these still work um, this isn't the one I dropped in the pool or lake but <clears throat> they're good they work and they're reliable so and they're cheap nine bucks um, the motors I did spend a little more on the motors I'm going to use <clears throat> going with these Emaxes um, they're the RS 2205s 2600 KVs um, I do have one other pair of Emaxes I really like them uh, I think these were around uh, I want to say $55 $60 for four of them um, so only thing is I noticed right away not quite long enough for the flight control I'm going to use and what I'm going to do but um, we'll make it work but uh, those are the motors and then uh, got this I got this at, at the hobby store uh, it was like 25 bucks I've heard a lot of good things about it booster dragonfly um, so we're gonna give it a shot and see how it goes and now for the flight controller what we're going to use is this fly color it's a yes um, I've never used one of these all-in-ones Except for maybe a Pico. I use a Pico all in one. Um, so I've seen a lot of reviews. Uh, I think uh, Barbell did a review. Uh, I can't remember who else. There's a bunch of guys did reviews and uh, really like the UAV features. I know he did one on it. That's a good channel too. Um, <clears throat> and so we're going to put this in it and see how it works. I haven't hooked it up yet, so hopefully it fires up. That'd be a bonus too. So uh, we're going to see. I, I did like the packaging. I know that doesn't make it fly good, but it is pretty slick looking. So that's what I got. And uh, let's start putting this thing together and see what we come up with. So this is, once again, the GEPRC, the gold and silver edition of it. I'm going to do a quick build out on the frame only because I know everybody's going to use different parts to do this build. <clears throat> so we're going to do a quick, this is the front of the quad right here facing this way. Basically you set that down, this will be the top. As long as you line all these up, they line up pretty neatly in all the spots. You can see all the squares line up, all the holes line up on both sides and then this is actually the bottom right here this plate there's a nice piece right here that they provide that will go right over top no, it doesn't go that way, it goes this way <coughs> and these are really nice especially with the battery the battery, they left you enough space that this easily slides through here even once this is down there so that will be really nice when it's done so what I like to do, I just like to first black screw right here these nice <coughs> beveled edges right here they go through here slide these off up to here and into that first mark right there See how these are all lined up nicely there. You'll take you'll have four of these standoffs right here. And it'll just screw right into here. Kind of hold that just in place for right now. 
and we'll lock them all down once they're once we're ready to so again there's the other one this frame is super simple to put together and it's really sturdy and really nice nice thick arms smooth edges simple to put together once again that just screws into here like so we'll move on to the next one as long as these line up <coughs> this is really hard to mess up and trust me I've messed up a bunch of frames Like I said, I'm just putting these in loosely right now, just to show you the build on it. Um, I'll be doing the parts list and what I'm doing with everything coming up here shortly after this one. One reason to put it in loosely too, is because that last one is <coughs> always difficult to get in. If you screw them all down too tightly Once again just gonna go on here like so there it is I don't know if the camera can catch it quite but uh, as you can see it's got a nice spot there for the battery strap and it fits just perfectly through there too so it'll be easy to put on and you're done with that all right so like I said before this is the front of the frame right here going this way and you can tell by these arrows that are inside of the front of the frame okay <clears throat> now for the top <clears throat> here's the top I have it assembled um, two spacers right here uh, some note on this though is I tried thought these spacers might go in between inside of here they do not go inside of there so those are just straight across there and also make sure you there comes two sides of these gold screws right here the smaller gold screws go in the top brackets up here you can also see they gave you two styles of top plates that can go on here this one fits my camera better so I'm going to use this one so it really depends on what camera you have to go with it so uh, once you get these in I found the easiest way to is to put this side completely on set it down put this on and then screw that into there um, that was the easiest way to do it and then for uh, the back end here it just has this plate here um, for your VTX and uh, that goes in pretty e easily uh, they give you these two screws here uh, that are flattened off um, so it's a nice clean look all the way around on this um, that was pretty pretty simple easy assembly for the top portion of this and then uh, really on the bottom portion there's just three parts there's that base plate right here the uh, arms that go out there as long as this lines up like this these little arrows here help you out pointing to the front of the quadcopter and then just this top plate right here uh, as you can see holds all three of them together and then they do leave a nice slot right here to fit your battery strap in and it actually goes in pretty nicely there too and they left a good amount of space inside the there uh, this has it I haven't tightened everything down yet I don't like to do that till near the end when I have everything dry fitted together and then I also will put on the uh, that kind of battery uh, gel pack right there it really helps too from the battery sliding around once you uh, attach it to the quad so that will go on there also at the end 
All right, so let's uh, <coughs> let's put these two together. Again, it's just these four bolts that'll go underneath here. Right there, one, two, three, four. And they will be the longer screws that go inside of there. So let's put that together and then we'll be back. All right, let's start with the, <coughs> the camera first. How I mounted this on just real quick. Pretty self-explanatory, but uh, we'll go through it real quick anyway. Uh, best thing to do is just loosen these side bolts up. These two yellow screws right here. And then uh, what I like to do is before I put the camera in, like kind of self-tap the screws on the side of this first. Um, that way when you put it in there, the screws go in the side of the camera a lot easier. And then obviously make sure it's uh, right side up when you put it in. Uh, the letter should be at the bottom, which is a good way to tell. Um, it fits in there snug. I mean, if you use the same camera, uh, it's a perfect fit inside of there. And uh, it looks good, fits perfect, and it's, it's really, it's real snug in there, which I really like. Uh, no glue, no straps. If I can get away without using glue or straps on something, I will if I can get a perfect fit. And that is a perfect fit. So that'll sit right there. And let's move on. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry with the flight controller. Um, just because I wanted to see how it fit on there. Um, did make some minor adjustments, which uh, depending on what flight controller you're going to use, you might have to also. I just changed out these screws to the yellow ones, uh, the gold ones, uh, the shorter ones. They gave you extra in there, so it actually worked out perfect, and I actually like it a lot better on there. Uh, plugged it in, set up everything, the board works fine, um, so you should be good to go for the next step. Um, everything else pretty much is the same. Um, the only thing I didn't get to use, which I really wish I could have, these gold standoffs, I kind of like them on there, but uh, oh well. Maybe I can use them in another build, but um, I just they just don't fit on there. They just don't work the way it's set up. Uh, maybe somebody else can figure it out, but that someone is not me. So we'll have to save those for another day. Um, so let's move on. Lots of people mowing their lawn today. Mine's done. So, just want to do a quick uh, look at how I'm going to wire this up. Uh, it's going to be PPM. How I'm going to wire it up uh, is because I have that uh, Fly Sky cheap uh, transmitter, so I don't know. <coughs> it doesn't. I've tried to wire iBus to it and it won't work so if anybody out there knows how to do it better than that you can show me but this always works for me so I know that uh, for my VTX I always hook up both grounds I wire in both grounds some people say you don't have to I've always wired in both grounds and it's always worked so I keep doing it and then um, this for my camera it's pretty simple uh, pay attention to the diagram on this though um, I tested these and these come out different than they go in so I'm just making sure I'll run a meter on them and make sure they're all correct before I plug anything in especially spending a hundred dollars on this board here I'm close to it um, I just want to make sure everything works but that's how I'm gonna wire it looks pretty simple um, just uh, gonna tin up these tabs right here and uh, we should be good this is a looks like a pretty easy setup so far so let's get going okay so I went out took a little break from building thought I'd fly since we had a nice day there's not many that we have but it's all windy as hell so this is the Martian unfortunately I should have checked the bolts um, the screw fell out about two minutes into it and crashed looks like it cut a receiver wire which isn't too bad but then when I went to go pick it up, I saw that. That's bad. That's not good. I've never seen one break there. And I've broken a lot of frames. 
so <sighs> not good. I got more frames on the way. This is a cheap I think it was like twenty buck frame, but you get what you pay for. There's twenty dollars. So I don't know if I should stick to the better frames or these. This lasted about three weeks. It's trash. But I don't know, we're gonna see how this one is. This one's it's looking good and tough. But my original frame, which was 25 bucks, yeah, I'm still flying on it. My first build. So we'll see. Alright, so moving on here. We'll fix the broken ones later. Um, so now I'm gonna mount these motors. But as you can see my problem going to be on this with this all-in-one since there's no ESC's here that's gonna have to stretch all the way to there and just take my word they don't make it so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these down about right here and then extend them out I really didn't want to cut these but uh, I do have the same gauge wire which uh, it's gonna make it a lot better so that's what I'm gonna have to do I really don't have a choice with that um, this is still kind of loose haven't really tightened anything up yet um, so I'm gonna do that um, and get the motors mounted uh, for you. these these uh, Emacs are nice um, most of them that I buy <laughs> don't really have clockwise and counterclockwise I just spin them up and then reverse the wires um, so I'm gonna actually this will be nice because this uh, I don't know if that's gonna focus maybe not probably not but anyway it says uh, clockwise so that be in the front that will be my clockwise and we'll work our way around so let me add some more wire on this I'm also gonna tin these pads up this is also really nice like this is all I'm gonna have to do these pads here and these pads here for the three motor wires three motor wires six pads and six pads and then uh, for the XT60 there's that pad right there tin that up and that's all the soldering I'm gonna have to do um, a couple things though don't know if you're gonna be able to see that of course not this camera sucks but um, I got ground and VBAT right there. So it looks like it's wired in to the flight board. So I'm not going to have to do anything with it. The instructions aren't very clear. I could probably go on YouTube and take a look. Oh, I love that boot button. Isn't that nice? I'm having a dick with hooking wires together. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to hook it up and see so tin these up get everything on and then uh, I'll be uh, okay so we got all the motors on everything's looking good here's what I did to extend the wires out there uh, I'm just gonna have to add on a little wire shrink wrap them down so they look good so those will fit nicely and then I'll just uh, tie those down same with these they're not gonna be so I'll have to add more but all these uh, all the motors are on I did go with four screws on each of them um, just because this is a little more expensive than I normally did but really I just make sure that um, they're centered that's the most important thing and that the bolts <coughs> aren't touching any part of the motor inside uh, I've never really had that happen um, I usually just take a screw on the outside and you can see that it's not going up that high so it's not ever going to touch the motor um, so but you can also like you can see through the crevice there yeah, I know you can't with the camera but you can and you can these are so smooth wow I'm used to shitty Chinese motors <laughs> Alright, so 
Up next, uh, I'm going to extend all these wires, solder these pads up, and uh, we'll move on. Okay, so we have all the motors wired up here. Um, I did have to do the extension on them um, just because they wouldn't reach the flight controller. Um, obviously not Emacs's fault, but uh, <clears throat> with these new all-in-one flight controllers, uh, some of these companies might want to think about adding some longer wires. Didn't really want to splice these in wanted a little cleaner look to this but it's still gonna work good it'll work fine uh, shrink them all down and I'll tape these off um, but I really love these Emacs motors especially for the price um, I really wanted to go with the Lumineers love that company love that channel but they were just a little out of the price range um, so this is these all on here um, I have the pads all tinned up and ready to go. So, uh, we'll do that next. Oh, it looks like that one there needs a little work. Uh, I don't know. That's probably, this is the shittiest focusing camera ever. Um, so, but anyway, let's, uh, get these. I'll, I'll fix that tin there and then, uh, get these wired up. We'll go from there. Alright, got all the motors wired in. Everything went pretty easily there. You can see them all in there wired up. All the motors are on. Everything looks good. Everything's lined up. So right now we're going to work on <coughs> getting the top on. And I'm going to dry fit and see how we want to put these in. Probably going to have probably the VTX there. I'm going to run it down here. I really like this pigtail on here because it kind of secures it. Um, so we're going to take a look at that and see how <coughs> it's going to fit. I really like dry fit and everything just because it's so much better. but. I'm really anxious to plug this in and uh, see how everything works. But uh, so far so good. Uh, they weren't very hard. Not the best soldering job in the world. But uh, not too bad either. So that's how I have it wired up. And uh, let's get the top on and I'll, we'll go from there. I'll show you that. Okay, so <clears throat> I think we're about there and it's getting late. So uh, the VTX is what we did with it. Put it on there. Up top. Fits in actually really nice. It's a little pigtail here. Not thrilled with it, but it works. Um, have it all wired up. Ready to go. It's going to look good once it's all together and on. As long as everything fires up. Um, I've got the little receiver down here. Should probably tape off right there. I might run it up through there. I haven't decided yet what I want to do with that. But uh, I've had a lot of luck on uh, taping these receivers down underneath the back motors. Um, they seem to uh, seem to work out good. Always good reception there. Never had a problem. So I might keep up that trend. I haven't decided yet. Um, so let's plug it in. See what happens. I always dry fit it like this because <clears throat> I like to see how everything's going to work before I put it all together. Because you never know what's going to happen. So we do have a good bind. You can see solid red light down there. You can barely see it right here. So we are bound. Just need to go into our setup <coughs> and beta flight and uh, 
we'll get it programmed and ready to go. So, we should be all set. Good deal. Unplug this. I'll get it all put together and show you the final product. Almost forgot about one thing here. Uh, this has an OSD. And, uh, it's definitely working. So, that's really nice. I have the cap on the camera, but it's a pretty nice little OSD in there. Okay, good deal. Okay, got her all together, everything working. Turned out really nice. I'm really happy with it. Um, I don't know the weight. I don't have a scale. I'm not that really good of a pilot to um, care of about a couple grams here and there. Um, but uh, the flight controller, I really like that uh, that new flight controller, all in one. Um, I'll try to leave links for everything I used. Uh, I did swap out this. This is a nice little touch. It's real low profile on it. And it kind of came out good. Everything worked out nicely. Even the motors. So it's all good and ready to go. And I think I'm going to use these blades on it too. That's after I shut it down though. So uh, that's it. Have any questions or comments? Let me know. Take care.